<laughs> All right, I'm not very good at whistling. But I think you just we recognized uh, <coughs> the tune. It was the soundtrack from The Good, Bad and the Ugly with Clint Eastwood. Welcome to the Antiques uh, Hunter here at the Antique Storehouse in Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. Today, I'll do a very short special about that film. I mean, I really love the film. I love Clint Eastwood. I love uh, uh, 1970s cowboy films and stuff like that. But this film is really funny because they use all sorts of things that were not invented yet. So the film is happening in 1862. And uh, see, one of the, the scenes is when um, Clint Eastwood, who's the good, is releasing Tuco, uh, who's, who's the, the ugly, using um, Winchester repeating rifle. So this is, this is the rifle that uh, is used by Clint Eastwood in the film. The problem was that the rifle uh, wasn't invented yet at the time. So he's using one of these. There was another design, uh, rather similar with this one, which, yeah, it was invented at the time, but it wasn't this rifle. So this is a, a Winchester repeating rifle. You've probably seen it in different kind of cowboy films where they, <coughs> they load it like this and they just shoot and shoot and shoot until the end of time. It's a very, very interesting rifle. It's one of the most successful uh, rifles made by um, the Winchester company. It's still uh, a version of it. It's still made today. And uh, the, uh, there was a military version of this rifle used in the um, uh, Russian, uh, Russia, uh, Russian Turkey, Turkish war, or for Romanians, for fair Romanians, there was the Romanian independence war in 1877-78, where actually the Turks... Um, we're using a version of this this rifle. This is a, yeah, repeat, 12, 12 shots repeating rifle. There was a military version, which is a bit more um, um, heavier than this, and obviously it had a, a metal body, so was, the body was made of brass so, uh, to be a bit more useful for, for combat. Um, that's why so many casualties on the Russian and Romanian side in the Russian-Turkish War of 1877-1878 because the Russian and Romanian armies was, were using uh, rifles, uh, one-shot rifles, and the Turks were using the 12-shot rifles. But let's, let's go back to the film. So, there's uh, many other things I've seen in the film, but some of the most obvious ones is that uh, many of the characters, especially the, the one called the Bad, was... Uh, carrying a cartridge belt. The problem was that the pistol he, he used was one of these. This is a cap and ball Remington revolver. So this is use, using actually a, a cap, so percussion cap and a ball uh, uh, loading system. So in order to actually load this revolver, you have to pour the powder here to the <coughs> uh, cylinder. And after that, just put the ball you ram the ball in, and after that, you put a cap here in the cylinder, and you uh, cock the, the, the revolver and fire. So this is a long process. Okay, so the Remington had the advantage of being able to change cylinders very fast. Uh, so many of the, the uh, users in the, that time, 1862, um, were actually having preloaded cylinders in their pockets and well, if you carry something on your belt, you won't carry cartridges because cartridges won't be any good. And cartridges were uh, newly invented, so it's quite a new invention at the, at the time. It wasn't uh, something that everyone used. Um, you'll carry some some cylinders. So even in the last scene, when they are in the cemetery, and you see him using uh, the, this pistol, and um, just before the scene, he's reloading and shooting very fast. Well. That's not possible. It takes you quite quite a while to load one of this. Clint Eastwood, on the other hand, he's using um, a Colt revolver, and a number of times I've seen him use uh, uh, one of one of these. This is a cap and ball revolver as well, and this is carrying cartridges. And if in the film you can see that at one point he's using some um, uh, uh, the version of this, which fair enough was invented uh, uh, at the time in 1860, I think it was. Uh, but wasn't popular, just a few hundreds were made till that particular point in time and everyone, including the, the US Army, was using this, which is a cap and ball um, cold revolver. Uh, and everyone thinks that this was a very popular weapon. Well, actually, the Remington was way more popular because to, to re reload a, a Colt, it will take you about two minutes. With the Remington, because it has a, a, a removable cylinder, 
well then you can actually reload very fast so the cylinder on the colt can't be removed so you have to, to load the, the rounds one by one it's a very long process on the on the Remington on the other side it's the process is rather simple because you just pull that and you can extract the cylinder from the, the gun itself and after that you just replace the cylinder with a, a new one which is uh, loaded already <coughs> by uh, you at one point in time and uh, yeah that's it so basically yeah, it took me seconds to <coughs> change uh, the cylinder on this one so yeah and he's using also there's all sorts of things to call in the uh, bathtub and he's using I hope I have one of these yes I think I do uh, something similar with this this is a, a, a star revolver uh, also cap and ball and he's shooting from the bathtub <laughs> just to, to make it clear if it's a uh, it's a non cartridge revolver if you put that in the water it won't shoot <laughs> because the powder would get wet and that's about it all right so <clears throat> um, watch the film the film is really nice but um, Mind the fact that, okay, the weapons are switched all the time, they are not the right ones, most of them were invented 10 years after the uh, events uh, uh, shown in the film, because you see some, some battles between the south and the north and stuff like that. I hope you liked it, thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you, see you later.